You have a very uh, surprising name of the conference. It's called Next Gen AI. What is Next Gen AI? When I was very, very young, there was this TV program called Star Trek, The Next Generation. And so I was thinking, you know, can we get inspired by Star Trek to try to understand the meaning of Next Gen AI? It had two examples of AI. One was the ship's computer. Its full name was Library Computer Access Retrieval System. But everyone called it computer. And you could talk to it, it could talk back, and it used to retrieve data, access data. That was its job. The other example of AI was something called the holodeck. The holodeck was a room that you could walk into that would project an entire surrounding, an entire alternate reality around you. And you know, that reality could produce scenarios. And these scenarios were always new. And it could also produce human-like characters. You could actually interact with things that were characters in stories, but they reacted to you. They changed when you spoke and the story progressed based on how you interacted with the situation. That is generative AI, isn't it? 40 years ago, this TV show was predicting large language models. This holodeck made a lot of mistakes, was unsafe. It had something called holodeck security protocols, what we will today call guardrails. But it always failed at those guardrails and that led to a lot of problems. And it did unintelligent things or it did things according to its own mind and did not you know, actually follow the prompts. Then what is next gen AI? Let me go back to the computer. The Star Trek ship computer could understand natural language. Even if it was very complicated natural language, it understood what humans or aliens were saying to it. It was very fast. It was extremely accurate in its responses. It did very complex tasks, calculations, analysis, plots, graphs, entire algorithms just based on human input in natural language. It was always reliable. There wasn't a single story about how the computer failed. There were lots and lots of stories about how the holodeck failed. It understood every language on earth, every language in the galaxy, and it could translate perfectly between any language. It could learn a language in about a thousand sentences. It is the next gen AI. This has yet to be achieved. This is what we should all be striving for, isn't it? So then how do we go from gen AI to next gen AI? So my single recommendation is going to be reduce weights. Put machine learning on a diet. Reducing weights reduces the dependency on data. Reducing weights will increase efficiency of both training and inference. Reducing weight will allow us to use statistical methods such as confidence and significance, which will allow hallucinations to go down, which will allow irrational extrapolation to go down because with more efficient statistical method, our machine learning models will once again be able to tell what do they actually know versus what are they hallucinating. This reduction of weights will allow us to specialize AI to every single use case rather than building extremely large AIs which try to do everything and do everything badly. When you go back from billions of weights to millions of weights to thousands of weights to tens of weights to maybe zero weights, you will finally have an algorithm. We will finally have explainable AI and that I think would be real AI to be able to tell how our intelligence works how our languages work, how we as human beings do what we do and use the best part of that to allow computers to communicate with us and to collaborate with us rather than trying to haphazardly, failure-pronely replace us.